Hi there. In this video, I want to show you how you can accept partial payments via Stripe through Paid Nice. So you might want to do this in the instance where uh, you want to allow your customers uh, to partially pay some of your invoices. So not paying the whole thing up front. Um, this can be particularly useful if you want to accept deposits um, and not have to issue like brand new invoices for this um, or offer sort of payment plans Etc. So anyway, we can do that um, through Zero QuickBooks um, and do that with uh, our Stripe integration through Paid Nice. So let me show you how that will work. So first thing you need to do is um, head on over to your organization settings and set up your um, Stripe as your payment provider. Now you can use an existing Stripe account and, and then even if you're still using that same Stripe account with uh, Zero QuickBooks, you can still use the same one to bring it on over. So we just basically Put the push the payment rails through there now you'll set up your your payment accounts for where they will where the payments from stripe will settle into now uh, if you've set those up with your existing accounting system before then um, use the same settlement accounts that you've used so a good example is i would not necessarily use the same settlement account um, as where the money arrives have a separate settlement account and that's just for an accounting perspective um, that, that just makes things a little, a little bit tidier now you can also charge a processing fee with uh, Paid Nice. So if you wanted to charge a custom processing fee as a separate line item and have that accounted separately, we can do that too. Um, you can just tick that box and then you can pick this percentage, flat rate, and then also the um, fee income account that, that that will go into. Now, for allowing partial payments, um, you'll tick this box here. Now, you can set a minimum payment amount that needs to be paid. So an example it could be 50%, 10%, whichever it may be. But this is the minimum amount that someone must pay against that invoice um, at this time. So you just hit save there. Now, once that's done, um, the all of your uh, all of your payment links and portal will have this activated on. So let's go find a customer, and we will go have a look at what that looks like. So let's look at say Marine Systems here. Now we're going to go take a look at their payment portal. So we've got an outstanding invoice here. Now we can see the um, the invoice that they have here, and we can see that obviously with our with our payment integration, we can see that we can now pay this outstanding invoice. It's not actually overdue yet, but that would be that would be um, un like un unblurred if it wasn't wasn't. But we can click on this. And we can see here, we've got these two payment options. We've got pay in full, um, so that will essentially open up and pay the whole thing in, in full. But if we want to pay other amount, we click on that. And you can see here, it says minimum uh, payment amount, uh, minimum there. And we can see the invoice itself is for $396. Um, so 50% of that, um, or 75% of that. And so we, let's say we just want to pay 50%. Click pay. And now what will happen is the uh, Stripe uh, link will basically populate and we can just pay that um, partial amount there so yeah that's uh, that's how partial payments work and uh, yeah thanks